All right, so we're working in the shop today as we do every day. I know you guys like watching and following along with the automotive projects that I have. We've got Stella the shop dog right here. We did a little video on her recently. She really likes chasing birds. We are working on a Toyota Prius, which a lot of you guys are probably like, uh, Prius. It's 2008 with 190,000 miles. But that is just a teaser for what we're really working on today. This is what I wanted to show you. It's a Pinskauer. 1973 Pinskauer. Model 710, I believe. It is six-wheel drive. I don't know if anybody knows what that is. It's kind of a German Puch. P-U-C-H. I may not be pronouncing that correctly. Uh, pretty cool little army vehicle. Again, it's six-wheel drive. Let's take a look at this. How it works. Look at that spring that connects that transaxle and that transaxle. It's all solid unit, kind of floats around there. I see a drive shaft there, and there's probably one on the other side, maybe. I don't know. It's a little, it's even a little bit out of my realm as to how it's all put together. Well, let's take a look at it. The guy uses it at the beach and said, quit running. So we got to get it fired up for him. It's got a trailer hitch. A spare tire, Pacific Wonderland plates, again a six wheel drive. Here's the exhaust pipe. Comes kind of out and under. Let's take a look at the uh, at the engine, shall we? Look at that. So the engine is between the seats, the seats are in the back right now, and that is a Porsche 911 cooling fan that you see on there. It is air cooled, four cylinder. See the uh, rockers covers there, spark plugs in between them. Almost looks like a wankle. It's not a wankle. It is a piston engine. I think it's a piston engine. I hope so. Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> Show you how much I know about it. Uh, we've got two dual carbon. So these are uh, how do I say this? There's they're like Rochester dual jets. So there's a two barrel carburetor here and a two barrel carburetor there. It's Zenus, kind of like what you would find on a Porsche 356 or a Volkswagen. So I'm gonna dig into this thing and figure out why it's not running. Let's take a look at the dash here. We have a speedometer that goes up to 130 kilometers an hour, fuel gauge, uh, tachometer, all kinds of cool lighting, buttons, switches, circuit breakers. Uh, all the gear levers for the six wheel drive are right there and I'll go into detail on how those work. There is a standard transmission of five speed right here. Um, and I think that's the high low there, if I'm not mistaken. There's a rifle gun rack there. Let's go on the other side and take a look at the engine. It has a completely flat windshield. Again, it's air cooled. So we're looking at where the air goes into the engine to cool the engine. We are looking at the distributor and we're looking at the oil cooler and some of the fuel pump and hardware that goes on here. So follow along with me as we bring this thing back to its former glory and take maybe a little drive around. It's pretty cool. Give you guys a little maybe ride along. Stella might want to go for a ride too. We'll see. We got to bring this baby back to life. It doesn't do anybody any good just sitting around collecting rust and dust. And uh, this guy couldn't find anybody else to work on it. And of course I'm more than happy to work on a unique vehicle such as this 1973 Pinskauer 710. All right, thanks for watching. We will catch you on the next video.